Hello and welcome back to Grace. Is that another incubator? <laughs> what is this? Ain't that good? Wait, that's everybody. Excuse me, mind your business. Hello and welcome back to Grace Bill Homestead. I'm so excited to be back with you guys for another video because I may have got another incubator. This may be like my one, two, three, four, four, but I can explain. See, what had happened was, you know what? don't worry about it. I'm excited about this because it is a smart incubator and we're going to see how smart it really is. It really reminds me of a mini Nurture Rate 360 and it comes with a mini price tag. So I thought that I would go ahead and review it for you guys. In the last video, I went ahead and I had some Buff Orpingtons that I put into the incubator and this time I have some Rhode Island Reds and Buff Orpingtons. So I thought I would bring you along for the journey cause you know, Karen is sharing, right? And like your girl wants to keep you update to what's going on just in case you want to try this at home. Cause remember, all these incubators, all 86 eggs are for you guys. It's, no? Okay. I just thought that maybe you want no okay all right so back to the incubator so cool this is another one that's facing the top if you'll notice that this one faces the top but then these two um it faces outward and it seems pretty simple and set up one thing to note already up front is that the pictures are deceptive. It does come with the egg candler. So that is really cool because one of my egg candlers is better than the other. See that one of the biggest features of this incubator was the fact that it had a bottle sitting on it and the water comes from here and goes into here without you having to pour or to open. However, do you see a bottle? I don't see a bottle. The bottle didn't come with it. So the bottles sold separately. Womp womp. False advertisement. This is so simple and so exciting. And as you guys know, when it's time for lockdown, we're going to take all of the eggs out of here. And we are only going to be left with this right here. With the net tray. And this is what catches them and prevents them from falling through. But of course, we're not in lockdown mode. And so since we are not, what we are actually going to do is go ahead and load up our incubator. With this and all incubators, the way you do it is that the longer pointy side is going to be the side that's going to stick this way. So we are simply loading it up. The eggs were in the um, cardboard container with the pointy side down. So that makes it easy already. And typically if you're buying hatching eggs, people know that that's the way that you do it. So you don't have to worry. So this little incubator holds 12 eggs and this is perfect because again, I do have um, some buff Orpingtons that are in isolation and I don't wanna get these mixed up. Whoa, look at this egg. This, this egg is more like a duck egg than it is a chicken egg. Look at these for reference. <laughs> is that crazy? And the interesting thing is the way that it fits inside. Yikes, it's a close one. It almost doesn't fit. <laughs> okay, so um, there are some like little grooves here and it is so simple. You literally stick the top on and that is it. That is it. That is the unboxing and the setting up of this incubator in less than 10 minutes. There is only one thing left to do. And that is to plug it up and add water. Okay, so maybe there wasn't one. We don't have the bottle that sits on it. It doesn't mean that I still can't use it, so I proceed. So I am just going to pour this in here and see. <gasps> Look at this. Look, can you guys see it transferring? Look how, okay, let me show you one more time. You ready? Get into it, get into it. <laughs> Look at that, watch it. Do you see that? And it's going over and it's filling it up. So when I start this, um, I'm gonna make sure that the temperature is where it needs to be and the humidity is where it needs to be. Let's just show you what it looks like, like I've done for all the other ones when we plug it up. For all of them, I have plugged them up. I have showed you how it works. I've added water, and so this one's no different. Oh, did you guys see that turn? So automatically we know that the turner works because we just saw it do it. So this is how it turns, how cool is that? 
So now we're just gonna wait and make sure that the temperature is gonna move. And I see it moving. I was really impressed with this because of the price because it is see-through. I was able to get even a better deal because I did buy this used but brand new in the package. So I love, you guys know that I love being able to show you along with this journey. I love how sleek and compact it is. Like I cannot get over it. It's almost half the size of the other one. So I love that. I'll tell you what I don't love though. I'll be very honest with you. It does not tell me what the humidity is, one. It does not tell me what day we're on, two. And it did not come with the water bottle three. But I don't think it was a con. And I think that this is such a great affordable incubator coming in at about $70 brand new. However, if you have a little bit more money, take a look at this one right here. For about $10 to $20 more, you cannot see inside, but you can talk about is it a chicken, a duck, a goose, a pigeon? You can describe what kind of egg it is. You can see what the um, humidity is and what the temperature is. And to me, those are very important things. And that one has an egg calendar, so there is more. So this one doesn't have an egg calendar, nor does it allow you to tell what type of um, egg it is. And it's so important because you might think, like I thought, I'm only going to do chicken eggs. I don't need all the other stuff. And now I have three dozen duck eggs over there. And I'm trying to figure out how I can get some little goose eggs and some turkey eggs and some pigeon eggs. Just mind your business. It's okay. It's okay. Like, it's all right. It's okay. So I just wanted to review it. I just wanted to be open, honest, raw, transparent. In case you're working with a little bitty funds and you want to know how to make your funds go the furthest. So. But I just wanted to bring you along in this smart incubator as I incubate these Rhode Allen Reds and Buff Orphingtons. And I will bring you along with the journey. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you're new here, I did an unboxing and setting up in 7 day and 14 day and final view of this one. And this one and not quite this one yet because it's the same and now we're here at the end so I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video I hope that it was helpful I hope that it was informative or maybe just funny I don't know. but either way thank you again and I'll see you in the next video blessings wait hold on I want to be in the video okay well, come, on. In the back come get behind me <laughs> yeah because you're not in any video